Shalom Aleichem. Peace unto everyone. All praise is due to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. What we're going to talk about today is, what would Jesus do or advise us to do during the past year of 2020? You are now watching The Conservative Racer. Remember, the race is not over until Christ returns. In thinking about what the Lord would advise us to do, think about what would he do himself. We're, we're taught to live in the image of Christ. We're taught to be more Christ-like in our life. So think for a moment to yourself, what would Christ have done and advised us to be doing this past year? And with that in mind, let's go over these three areas. Trust, discernment, and fear. So on the topic of trust, let's go to Psalms 118.8. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. One of the biggest problems I see in the world today is that people are trusting in the world to solve their problems instead of turning to God. They're leaning on worldly solutions. They're under the impression that the world is here for their best interests. If you're going to trust in the narrative that the world puts in your head before leaning to God and trying to filter that situation through his word, then you're going to find yourself led by fear, making actions and decisions and governing your life based on the fear that's being manufactured and placed into your head and into your life. On the topic of discernment, Let's go to 2 Corinthians 2, 11. Least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. People, I can't make this any clearer. If we're not being led by the word of God, by God's plan, then we're being led by the enemy's plan. If we don't understand the devices and the tactics and the tools that he's using to ensnare us, how are you going to stop from getting caught in his trap? And for the last topic, fear, let's go to Psalms 34, 4. I sought the Lord, and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. I need you all to be in agreement with me on this. We have to understand, Satan is the prince of lies. And if we're going to be in agreement with his lies, the lies filtered to us through this world, and we're not gonna be in agreement with what God says, the promises he has made for us and the plans that he has for us, then we're just gonna be gripped in a life of fear by everything that they throw at us for the rest of our lives. God has given us power and authority. And it's time that we start using it. I rebuke the enemy and his lies over my life and over your life. And I pray that you'll be in acceptance of that. God bless you all.